Hi, welcome back to JFR Electechnical. Today we will talk about PWM Solar Charge Controller. What is PWM Solar Charge Controller? For start, PWM means pulse width modulation. It pulses power in charging your batteries, thus regulating the voltage coming from your solar panels to the level of charging voltage required by your batteries. The PWM Solar Charge Controller is an inexpensive option for setting up a small capacity solar power system. There are five basic function blocks inside a PWM Charge Controller assembly. Power Supply, Sensing and Control Circuit, HMI, the Load Switch and the Pulse Width Modulator. During a PWM Charge Controller initial setup, the battery cables are connected to the controller battery port terminals. The battery will provide power supply to all the function blocks inside the solar charger. The HMI, small LCD screen displays the icons and voltages measured by the sensing circuit, and the micro push buttons allow changes to set other parameters, like battery type, low voltage disconnect, DC load operating mode, and time of use. These parameters are stored in the controller circuits. The sensing and control circuit checks and monitor the voltage of the battery and automatically set the system voltage once the battery is connected. Once the solar PV module is connected on the PWM solar charge controller and solar light is available, solar power is generated and goes into the pulse width modulator. The sensing circuits continuously measures and monitor the PV module output voltage. The controller will make a calculation in reference to the battery and then send a control signal to the pulse width modulator to operate and regulate its output voltage according to the set battery charging parameters. This charger does not make DC to DC conversion and cannot boost the output more than PV voltage. So remember, designing an off-grid system with PWM solar charger requires a compatible nominal voltage between PV module and battery. The battery provide power to the DC loads through the load switch. The sensing and control circuit continuously monitor the battery voltage and the load current to prevent damage to the battery and load by opening the load switch when required. Let's explain more about what is a PWM and show how it works. In simple description, PWM can be said that it is like an electrical switch between PV panels and the batteries. The power delivered to the battery is pulsating due to fast closing and opening operation of the switch. The width of the pulses are adjusted and controlled by the charge controller's algorithm to obtain the correct charging voltage for the battery. A long pulse width means high output voltage. A short pulse width means lower output voltage. Now let us talk about its efficiency. Since the output voltage of the PWM is only a little above the battery voltage and the current delivered almost the same. A PWM charge controller are not able to use the maximum power available from a PV panel. Take a look at the IV curve of a 100W PV panel. Voltage at maximum power is 17.8 and current at maximum power of 5.62 amperes. A lead acid battery at the start of charging will take in 12.8 volts and can increase into 14.5 at the end of charging. Taking the average 13.65 volts, then multiply to 5.62, equals 76.7 watts. Around 77% efficiency, but a 23% loss in your PV panel capacity. Keep in mind the basic rule, if using the PWM solar charge controller, the nominal voltage of the solar panel should match the nominal voltage of the battery bank. With 12 volt battery bank, match a solar panel with 18 volt at maximum power.
If you want to add panel in a 12 volt system, connect the new panel in parallel and not in series. In a PV parallel configuration, with matching panel ratings, the voltage of single panel is only considered and the current adds up for all the panel. In a 24 volts battery system, the PV panels should be in series and not in parallel. On PV series configuration, with matching panel ratings, the voltages of all the panel adds up and only a single panel current is considered. Here are the list of advantages and disadvantages of using a PWM solar charge controller. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and leave a comment. Do not forget to click the notification bell, so you will not miss my next video.